the show. And welcome everybody to Central Valley Today. I'm Stephanie Bainham. Alex Delgado has the day off. A big happy Friday to you. And thanks so much for your time this afternoon and for joining us. Well, you're soon going to be able to learn about a literary great that called the Central Valley home. A unique museum will be opening, putting the life of William Saroyan on display. For us it's very important to do this work because it is not only for Armenian people, it is for all, all over the world, for American people, for our uh, friends. The museum will open later this month on what would have been Saroyan's 110th birthday. It's being built where he lived the last 17 years of his life, but the house is getting a complete makeover thanks to a foundation based in Armenia. And here with more on the much anticipated opening, we have Avog Simonian. He's the project director, the project manager for the museum, along with Barlo Magardishian. He's the coordinator of the Armenian Studies Program with Fresno State. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, it's almost open. Yes. yes, thank you. This has been a labor of love, hasn't it? Tell us about the whole process of turning this house of William Saroyan's now into a museum. Uh, at the beginning, we, uh, we started in 2016. Our foundation is called Renaissance Cultural and Intellectual Foundation, founded by Artur Janibekian. He is Armenian, and uh, we purchased the house in 2016, and we decided to turn into the museum. It was very hard and very long yeah. project, uh, and uh, actually we are just coming in the end now. We are, we have just few days uh, until the opening. Uh, William Saran is very famous as we know and uh, to understand uh, how we can just uh, show people his hidden corners his heritage it was very hard to yeah. for us and we did a lot of research for in this point and uh, as we know we are from Armenia and we are doing this project from Armenia and uh, it was also hard to do the project from Armenia because yeah. the main house is uh, in Fresno right. but we decided to start from Fresno because it is his home he born here and he he spent here his last 70 years in the same house, mm -hmm. uh, which will turn into the museum. And uh, we discussed different ideas actually, how we will uh, have, what is the main goal of the museum, how we will show the people his uh, heritage and how we will give people chance to get acquainted with his heritage, literature and others. Lots and, to learn. Yeah, lots to learn. And we decided to have museum with uh, new solutions, with interactive solutions. Uh, with non-standard solutions and uh, actually it will be very interesting for everyone I think so yes well there's gonna be so much technology and cool stuff happening Barlow why is this important why does this matter here to Fresno that this museum opens it's important because William Saroyan is associated so closely with Fresno I mean he, it's not just as an Armenian writer I think he's one of the probably the most famous person that's associated with Fresno mm -hmm. and his name is just known throughout the world and I think it's a great idea to bring people to Fresno Fresno to come to visit his museum to become more familiar with his works his writings and I, I think it's really going to be uh, wonderful yes and we have to tell everybody to mark their calendars because on August 31st Barlow there's going to be a huge opening celebration at Fresno State can you tell us about it yes so uh, on Friday August 31st the doors will open at 6 30 p.m. in the satellite student union and we're looking forward to uh, people from all over the world really coming to the opening program, we're going to feature some songs that Saroyan uh, wrote. There's going to be some videos about his life, some speakers. It's going to be really exciting. And anyone who would like to come, it's free, free oh, cool. admission. And all you need to do is to go to the website, saroyanhouse.com. Okay. And you can just register, click on it, and just say, I'm coming, put your email, and you'll get a confirmation, and then you can come. Perfect. So then when, Avag, can people actually go to the museum? When can people start touring? Since the 1st of September, uh, the next day of the uh, opening, uh, they can just uh, get appointment by the same uh, website, website? saranhouse.com. Okay. They can get the appointment and go to the museum every time. Uh, it's open every day besides Monday. Okay. Uh, and uh, they can uh, have a lot of experience there, a lot of... Uh, interactive ex experience. Yeah, explain and that more, the interactive part, because I understand there's going to be a hologram of Saroyan. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal because they will be able to see Saroyan's hologram, uh, which will tell about his life, about his stories. Uh, also, we'll have interactive walls where people can uh, interact with uh, pictures and also to see Saroyan's life with pictures. 
Uh, we will have uh, other systems, other interactive systems. I think it will be better to uh, get that experience in the house. Yes. And also besides this all, we will uh, give people a chance to get acquainted with virtual uh, museum. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. it, it is it's our, a future. It's a future, yes. It's a future and we will surprise our guests in the opening. We'll give them a chance for the first time uh, to take part, to get that experience with the virtual museum. Uh, we did this uh, part also because uh, we need to give everybody chance to get acquainted with with his heritage yeah. and literature. It doesn't matter where are they mm -hmm. in what corner of the world. It will help them to get acquainted with the virtual museum and get virtual experience. Yes, and I love though that this is such a beautiful beautiful thing for everyone here in the community, but especially the Armenian community. Barlow, can you speak to that? The Armenian community is very proud of William Soroyan as a writer who represents both American writing, but also as an Armenian who wrote so many stories about his Armenian family and about his experience as an Armenian growing up in the valley. And I yeah. think he, he's a wonderful example for all the different groups that have come to the valley and pretty much they've all gone through similar types yes, of experiences. Yes, yes. So I think it's really wonderful and Armenians are very proud of him. Uh, they, it's really a name that really brings people together and they really want to learn more about him. Yes, and you can do that everybody because his house is going to be a museum thanks to these guys and so many others. And lastly, you're going to be passing these out at the museum, is that right? Yes. It's just cool little things. I just want to show everyone real fast. It's like a, you put your cell phone in here and then you yeah. take a tour of the museum through through this little boxy thing. That's so cool. And this is just one little example of all the fun, cool stuff and technology that's ahead at the museum. Definitely something the whole family will love, Absolutely. especially yes. the kiddos, mm -hmm. especially sure. seeing that hologram. That's mm -hmm. going to be wild. Okay, well, thanks, everybody. We look forward to August 31st, and congratulations. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank, Thank you. you. Get your tickets today. And